Oh my gosh, friends. I was out here with my kids and my oldest daughter looks over and she's like, Mom, there's a ferret in our yard. And so I ran over to see what in the world it was before my cat got it because he was out here too. And it ran underneath my peach tree. Underneath my peach tree, I have some mint planted. Years ago, I made the mistake of planting mint in the ground and it just took over. And so it's all underneath the peach tree. Anyway, so it's hiding in there and it makes this horrible noise. I still haven't seen what the heck it is. And honestly, it noise is kind of scaring me a little bit and so I think what I need to do is just get brave get a stick and then just go in there and see if I can see what the heck this thing is you guys see it nope or hear it nope but it's over there in the back yeah I don't see it I don't see it you guys nope I don't see it either we went through to the neighbor's yard could have. It's pretty thin. Was it? Kind of there it is again. It's over here. Now. That makes the scariest noises ever. I know. What the heck is it? I, I don't know. know. Yeah. Whatever it is, it likes to spring. It's over there. No. You guys, I think it comes over this way, that way whenever I come over here, and then it goes that way whenever I go over that way. Did it just run away? Yes. Do you actually see it? It's in the neighbor's yard. In the neighbor's. It's dark brown. You guys, I don't see a thing. I still have yet to see this thing. Did you hear that? It makes the worst noise ever. So when I was over here looking through the mint, they said that it went through the chain link fence and then into the neighbor's yard. I still haven't seen this thing, but I definitely have heard it. So what the heck is this thing? I've got some kind of a weird monster in my garden and I have no idea what it is. So friends, what looks like a ferret and makes a noise like you heard in the video when I was going through and looking for it. Please help me. I have no idea what the heck it is in my garden. I have no idea what to do about it or any of this. So what eats peaches looks like a ferret and sounds like that awful monster noise that it made. Hey friends, so maybe many of you out there also like to search clearance racks for good deals. Well, I have found that the time of the year when they actually give the best deals with the clearance is either mid-season or like toward the end of the season. So say it was winter and then halfway through the winter they're going to start getting rid of all those winter clothes so they can start making room for the summer clothes and vice versa. So halfway through the summer, maybe even toward the end of summer, they start clearancing off all of that stuff to make room for all of the winter stuff. Well, that is what's going on at Walmart right now. So here we go. It's important to take note though that anything that you get on clearance, it needs to be something you would normally wear. Because if it's not your size, if it's not, you know, your style, if it's not comfortable, etc., then it's really not a good deal because you'll buy it, but then you won't ever use it. So it has to be something that you'll actually use. And yes, while some of these are very colorful, I actually like bright colors. Probably comes from my Norwegian heritage, but anyway, bright colors are cheery, and so I actually like that. So anyway, a nice long skirt. I actually like these kind of skirts, and I wear them all the time. Uh, a t-shirt a button-up shirt, and then several blouses. I added it all up just now at the regular prices because the skirt and then the last four shirts were all um, regular price $12.94. This one was $13.94 and then that one's $5.48 because it's a pair, fairly basic t-shirt but still. Added it all up and it came to $84.48 which I would never pay <laughs> normal price even at Walmart. So if we were to buy all this normal price at Walmart it would be close to 85 bucks, probably more than that with all of the tax. But as you can see, all of these were marked down to just a dollar. So each and every one of these items was just a dollar, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, seven bucks. Way discount from the 84.48. So yeah, if you go to whatever your favorite department store is and check out the clearance, you could find some good deals right now because it's that changing of the season and they're getting all of their winter stuff in right now. But again, remember, 
Make sure it's something you would normally wear, otherwise it's not a good deal. Guess what this means? Time for another adventure! Yay! Another family hike. This time we're hiking in Lori State Park and on one of their trails. It's a free state park day, so yeah, we hitting that up. Alright, let's go! This area had a forest fire not too long ago, and so there are a bunch of dead trees. It's sad. So sad. This trail is really sparkly and it's full of fool's gold. It's pretty though. Burned at the bottom. Still living on top. It's nice to see the new life that's come back <coughs> to since the fire. <coughs> the thing I'm most worried about though is that well, my dad came over earlier and he said that the rattlesnake population here is like one of the highest density in all of Colorado. So yeah, that's making us a little bit nervous about the rattlesnakes. We thought the last trail had a lot of rattlesnakes. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Poison ivy, anyone? I myself have never gotten into a patch of it and I've never actually touched it. So I have no idea what it would be like. Look at that view though. It's beautiful. Still got further to go though. Beautiful forest. I wish you could smell the smell of pine right now. It's refreshing. Delicious. Did you say delicious? It smells delicious. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> we found a little creek. Are those yellow jackets? Aw, oh, bummer. Oh, this is a nice area. Look, it's got a little like watery area back there. And a big boulder. Somebody wants to be king of the rock. <laughs> More pretty wildflowers. Absolutely beautiful view. So gorgeous. And it's hot, so I want to go jump in that water. What about y'all? Is that water yes. tempting you? Yes. Is that a nice area to rest? Yes. Yeah, a nice rest area. It's kind of a burnt tree. But it lived. It didn't die. It's resilient. Juicy homegrown peaches as a snack for everyone. Beard ponytail? Not part of the hike. Look, we found a monkey on our hike. <laughs> it looks more like an ape, actually, now that I really think about it. Oh, yeah? Do you think it was a gorilla? Just like Tarzan. All right. <laughs> you too. This time we're going to the waterfall trail. This is the biggest picnic area I think I've ever seen in one of these parks. You could throw like a huge party or something. And then play volleyball. <laughs> this trail is so much more lush and green and shady than the last one. Bridge. And a little water. Hopefully when we get there, there'll be a waterfall. Look at them. The little water skimmer things. Such a cute little creek. Oh, this is cool. This rock face is just giant. Rock steps. Oh, rock steps. That's fun. trails. Oh man, somebody's feeling a dare like a daredevil. Oh wow. <laughs> Bet there's a good view up there, isn't there? Oh yeah. Is there? 
Yeah. This is beautiful rock faces. Rusty red. Oh, I want to go walking in that. <laughs> probably shouldn't, but I want to. I bet this is the waterfall, but there's probably not enough water for it. Yep. Oh well, that's what happens when you come in late summer. And now we saw a mountain goat. <laughs> you like climbing on the rocks? Yes. All right. What about little mountain goat in training? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Ah, you're learning so well. Stick your head in it. Okay, that's enough. <laughs>